Hi, my name is Jassy Sodi. I am a research physiotherapist based in Newcastle here in the Northeast. I'm based at the John Walton Muscular Dystrophy Research Centre and here in Newcastle we look after quite a large cohort of myotonic dystrophy type 1 and 2 patients from around the north of England. I'm also fortunate enough to be a member of the Registry Steering Committee for the Myotonic Dystrophy Patient Registry. Now, this patient registry is funded in part by Muscular Dystrophy UK and in part by the Myotonic Dystrophy Support Group, so two charitable organisations. Um, the registry is really quite important for both patients and professionals. Um, for professionals like me, it helps answer important clinical questions. Uh, these can be simple questions like how many myotonic patients do we have here in the UK? Um, or more complicated questions like how many patients do we have who report certain symptoms? So. This, this patient registry provides a, a database as such, which is all anonymized, so it doesn't have any patient identifiable details in, um, but it has important information about myotonic dystrophy patients in this country. Um, so, in terms of research for myotonic dystrophy, uh, this is a really exciting time. We're in a, a period where there's a lot more interest from pharmaceutical companies in terms of drug development and research, but also there are a lot more clinicians and health professionals who are interested in looking at myotonic dystrophy patients as a population and their care standards and how to improve these. So it's quite an exciting time and I think the myotonic dystrophy registry is quite a good resource for patients and professionals to keep up to date in terms of these innovations in research. Um, from a, a patient perspective, I've found that with patients in our cohort, they find that being part of the registry is useful in terms of contributing to um, the patient database and information about myotonic patients to help improve care standards for myotonic dystrophy patients. Um, also, patients find it useful as a resource to keep up to date in terms of what's available out there in terms of research that's ongoing or different projects, um, but also just general information about care standards for myotonic dystrophy patients.